Three no-code SaaS stories that are going to completely change your perspective on the industry. The first story we're taking a look at is for the product MyAsk AI. It was founded by Alex and it hit a staggering $18,000 a month in recurring revenue in just six months. MyAsk AI is a tool that is the easiest way to create to create an AI assistant for your team, and it's an affordable way to provide AI customer support. It makes it super easy to connect with your existing documents from Notion or Google Drive, and you can upload all this information to My Ask AI. Then you can start getting answers to any specific question in just a few minutes. In terms of the no-code stack for this product, the majority of it's going to be run on Bubble, the no-code builder. So they use both the front and the back end on Bubble. And they chose this because it's very sophisticated, but it's very easy to use at the same time. And it lets them move with a lot of speed. They can go and launch new features in just days. For customer service, they use Crisp. For payments, they use Stripe. And for analytics, they use Amplitude. And for email, they use customer.io. I think they did a really good job when they launched My Ask AI as they went for pre-sales. They managed to get $5,000 in pre-sales prior to releasing anything. And this let them know they were onto something. So rather than spending all these time, months, possibly years building something, they knew they were actually going to solve a problem that people were willing to pay for. In terms of how they generate revenue, it's going to be on a scaling basis. They have a free plan for super small teams all the way up to an enterprise plan that has custom pricing. So they're targeting a broad demographic of the business market here. In terms of that split, they have 37,000 users and 420 paying subscribers. And they get about 50,000 visitors per month to their site. In terms of how they've grown the product, 95% of it has been organic. Things such as building in public on social media, launching on Product Hunt, submitting to tool directories, as well as getting newsletter mentions. Our next no-code product story is about better legal. It was founded by Chad Sakonchik, and they got the idea for this product when they were helping a friend who was an attorney and they were losing business to online companies offering cheaper do-it-yourself legal services to start a business. And this was further complicated by every state having its own laws and regulations around starting a business. So Chad helped his friend automate his operations. They went from taking around three hours to form a new business to just under 10 minutes. And this allowed the attorney to charge 75% less for their service. So Chad took their learnings here and turned this into better legal. And so the first version of this was built with a combination of different no-code tools such as Asana, Zapier, and Formstack. So the customer would fill out a simple questionnaire with no legal lingo. And this task was then sent with Asana with a 40 page legal document. However, at the beginning, this was a lot of work to manage and didn't output exactly what they needed. So they ended up actually switching to hiring developers. This sustained them for around five years, but in 2022, they went back to node code when they discovered Bubble. And in 90 days, they rebuilt Better Legal. They used Bubble as the underlying platform and the complete system that everything was built on. They also used other tools such as Zapier, Make, Twilio, Lob, and Asana. Chad believes no code is their huge competitive advantage as well. Thanks to using no code, they don't need as many employees. They have less mouths to feed, less overhead cost. They don't have to work in silos and they have a more flexible process. And since they switched to Bubble, they saw a 58% increase in MRR. And this gave them full control of every single element in the form. In terms of overall revenue, they recently crossed $1 million in annual recurring revenue. And overall, they've done a total of $2.5 million in revenue. Our next no-code product is called Punch. It was founded by Olive Haas. And they're a web and brand designer who has a history in social media. And so they built this tool to be a time tracking, time blocking, and personal scheduling app, and it's all built on Airtable. And it gets its namesake for the punch cards that people used to use when logging in and out of work. And this product was really born out of their personal productivity need. So this product is going to include 50 different templates for shifts, time blocks, and workday styles, as well as custom made schedule options with an easy drag and drop builder. So it's gonna help you make every minute pack a punch, it hit number one product hunt of the day and number three product hunt product of the week for productivity. In terms of how they're going to generate revenue, it's going to be on a one-time lifetime basis for $19 and $29. The first version of this product actually started out as a simple scheduling calendar. 
In terms of the tech stack, as mentioned, it's run fully on Airtable. They also use some low code scripting and Airtable automations to help everything work together. In terms of how they did the scripting, they used ChatGPT as they don't really have any programming experience. In terms of how they marketed the product, their best vehicle has been Product Hunt. They've also increased their activity in Airtable communities on Reddit, Facebook, and Airtable forms. And this has led to conversions as well as more word of mouth. They also have some free Airtable templates that they give away when people are subscribing to their mailing list. If you've gotten this far in the video, I'm sure you want to build your own micro SaaS, but to do so, you're going to need a really good idea. And I have you covered with free sneaky micro SaaS ideas you can steal for free. There's a link in the description below. All you need to do is enter in your email. I also have a complete course on how to build your very own micro SaaS, even if you don't have any SaaS experience. There's a link in the description below for this as well. So make sure you check both of those out. So this concludes the video here on three no code stories. I hope you enjoyed them. I'll leave a link in the description as well. I got all of these stories from a really cool newsletter called No Code Exits, and it was completely free to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.